What's good, YouTube? We still got a lot of NBA 2K23 news to uncover. 2K drops so much news about the offense, it's going to be tough to get through it all in one video. But we're going to try. So we're going to talk about what 2K think the meta is going to be this year, the pro stick, dribbling, everything like that. But just do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and hit them post noties too. The defense was a point of emphasis in last year's game, but NBA 2K23 is so jam-packed with new features and upgrades on the offensive end of the floor that it's a perfect starting point. NBA 2K22 was a banner year for perimeter players. Small guards had a slew of advantages over their taller counterparts, and outside shooting reigned supreme in online matches. Thinking about how we could bring more authenticity into our game, we looked at how virtual games were playing out compared to the real-life NBA, and it was clear that we needed to give more love to the slashers who love to finish at the rim. This meant expanding our tools. This meant expanding the tools for attacking the basket. So 2K is letting y'all know that they added a lot more into the game for slashers. That's why y'all see the overpower slashing badges that 2K just added in. And not that I know that the badges is going to be crazy overpowered, but just looking at the description, <laughs> you feel me? You go, if you a big or if you a slasher, you got to equip them, them new slasher badges, bro. Like, so 2K did add a lot of more heat for slashers, not just the overpower badges, but it seemed like they overall trying to make it a little bit more fun for slashers. Right here, upgraded the pro stick. The most obvious upgrade is the addition of new gesture combos to the pro stick. Internally, we refer to the new mechanics as double throws. Flicking the pro stick in a direction, letting it go back to center, and then quickly moving the pro stick back in the same direction, and switchbacks, flicking the pro stick in a direction, letting it go to center, and then quickly moving the pro stick in the opposite direction. These new gestures introduce a lot of new weapons for both shooting and ball handling, so that's different, bro. This is a lot different. So these these I, I know a lot of people are gonna think the double throws and switchbacks is only gonna be dribbling but they say it's gonna be for shooting too so let's get into it <laughs> you feel me so because i think they're they gonna break it down a little bit more so right here 2k letting us know how to use the dunk meter and remember a shakedown couldn't didn't know how to use the dunk meter when he was playing against mike wayne that's crazy but you feel me you see exactly why right here they changed the controls when driving to the basket with the sprint trigger held, the new pro stick control map for dunks is as follows. Flick up on your right stick for a two-hand dunk. Flick right on your right stick for a strong hand. Flick left for a weak hand. Down for a rim hang. Flick up, up. So, how to hang on the rim. I know I was showing y'all the video with Zion hanging on the rim. You gotta flick down for a rim hang. And flick up, up for a flashy two-hand flick down up for a flashy one hand and this is how you use the dunk meter right here so you got to flick up down to to use a normal skill dunk with the meter and down down to use a rim hang skill dunk with the meter so if you're trying to use the meter you got to remember up down and down down two very important controls especially for slashers i know y'all probably gonna want to mix them up like if it's if it's wide open you might not want to risk timing it wrong and everything Unless you just got to time it down like that, bro. Because you feel me? You'll be good. You really not going to have to use none of the other controls. But it's kind of fire that they mixing it up like this. Because you do get more options. And you really could control more what kind of dunk you do. And not just for safety. But really just to mix up your animations and everything. Like, bro. I know sometimes I'll be on a fast break. And they just give me the same uh, dunk I just had on the last fast break. And anything like that. You feel me? But that's fire right there and you got the zion rim hang for anybody who didn't see it on the last video bro i got y'all right here and nothing major you feel me but this is actually going to be something fun in the game mostly in the park so it's going to allow you to control when and how you hang on the rim after a dunk and right here it's saying you got to keep the sprint trigger held when your player get his hands on the rim. You'll hang in definitely as long as you keep the sprint trigger held. And you can use the left stick to adjust the momentum of your swing and body. And the right stick to pull yourself up on the rim. Oh, that's heat. Oh, so you can pull up. Yo, I'm not even going to hold you, bro. I did not read all of this. <laughs> I was just looking at, you feel me, the videos previously. But this is heat, bro. You can actually pull yourself up on the rim. 
They didn't show Zion doing that. And this is all done through a physical simulation as opposed to canned animations. It looks and feels amazing. So it's again, it's not an animation that's just gonna have you stand on a rim. You know how you do an emote, you feel me? And you can't stop it in the middle. You can actually stop hanging on a rim whenever you feel like it, bro. So that's fire. But you see again, Zion didn't pull itself up on a rim. They do be pulling up on a rim though in the NBA. So that's some heat. And it say, but watch out for text if you hang too long in NBA games. So if you playing on your my player, you feel me? If you playing my career, hanging on the rim, you definitely might get that tech. <laughs> so watch out for that. Finesse your way to the rack. For slashers who want to finish with a little more finesse, double throw gestures are used for hop step layups, while switchback gestures are used for euro step and cradle layups, which feels more natural. A simple hold left or right will perform an all new set of quick scoop layups. These are great, especially for small guys who want to quickly flip the ball up and around defenders before they can react and block the shot. So that's fire. <laughs> I got to admit, if you hold it like and that makes perfect sense, bro. Holding the ball, well, holding your right stick left or right. You feel me to, to kind of hold it. You feel me? We're going we gonna to play the video. I honestly did not see this video at all yet. Not even going to gas it. So if you holding the, the stick right, you're going to kind of shield off the defender. And you feel me? Just scoop it up in the air. That is honestly fire, bro. We never had that layup animation. And again, 2K adding a lot for slashers. Not just slashers with contact dunks, but literally anybody going to the rack, whether it's a dunk or a layup. That's fire too right there. I'm going to show y'all that. That again, because I ain't going to lie, bro. <laughs> yeah. I think that's interesting, bro. We gonna see if we gonna see if these layup animations is actually overpowered, or you feel me? If they just throw them in the game for, in the game for nothing, cause well, I would say if it's showing you that he could shield off the defender like that, these they gonna be overpowered, bro. <laughs> like it's gonna make layups way better, for real, for real. So. For the bigger and stronger players, you'll also experience a lot of new contact layup content that probably shows what should happen when players like Giannis Antetokounmpo plow through people in their path. In addition, we've added several new layup packages for both new gen and current gen, including D-Book, Joel B, Allen Iverson, Magic Johnson, Jokic, Zach Levine, Ja Morant, Sue Bird, Diana Taurasi, and more. So hold on. Bro, yo, they added a lot of layup packages. That's fire, bro. So we don't just have like the uh, long athlete, small, and you feel me, curry and the jelly and everything like that. That's fire. Layup packages, though. I want to see what Magic Johnson layup packages looking like. And the AI, for real, for real. <laughs> but that's some heat. For post players, double throws can be used. So again, bro, this is double throws again. And... We just going to go up real quick. Y'all want to remember those double throws, how they were saying flicking your stick right and then letting it return back to center and then flicking it back right again. Those is going to be used for like your Euro steps and your hop steps and everything like that. So remember, that's how you get to the rack, bro. For post players, double throws can be used for post drop steps and hop shots. Switchback gestures will give you shimmy shots and hooks. There are a bunch of new signature post shots and hooks to choose from this year as well. So just like they added a bunch of layup packages, I think they're going to have some more like uh, like post packages and everything like the hook shots, the fades and everything like that, shimmies, all of that. This is really some heat right here, bro. <laughs> Yo, they really added a lot of new content. Not even going to lie. But... Let me know what y'all think about all of that slashing news. Again, I think slashing is really going to be the meta. Look how much they added for slashing. I thought I was going to get to the dribbling and everything in this video, but I don't want to hold y'all too long. I'm going to hit y'all in the next one. Just let me know what y'all think. We're going to talk about the dribbling in literally the next video. I got y'all.